Hello, beautiful burners. Uh, looks like the main sale was rough. Mm, I only heard of a few people getting tickets, which doesn't surprise me. There was 10,000 tickets being sold today and maybe 100,000 people trying to get them. 70,000? I don't know. It's, it's a... Uh, We've been pent up trying to get tickets for a long time. There's the distribution of tickets this year is different. There was, I think the important thing for us all to remember is that uh, there are a lot of ways to be a burner and there are a lot of ways to head towards Burning Man. And that there are a lot of regionals that are getting momentum and that the only way to be certain that you can be uh, headed to Black Rock City is to participate in a project that has a history of going and make yourself mission critical to bringing that project to the burn. Or uh, you know, buy, uh, have the, the resources and the money to buy one of the, the, the big tickets. Um, look, Burning Man has always been about surrender and trust. It's always been about community. There are a lot of ways that we can come together and create art. Maybe those ways are in the Black Rock Desert at different times. There are people that are be get, will be gathering officially in the Black Rock Desert in the Everyone Project. There are people who will be gathering unofficially in the Black Rock Desert for the Jopalaya. There will be opportunities to gather at other events like Lightning a Bottle or Lucidity or regionals, so many opportunities to get together and practice in principles and be in community. And there's the opportunity to connect in digital ways through BRCVR and other tools. I feel like this is a, a, a difficult time for a lot of people. A lot of people are feeling really distressed. And I think that the reality is um, I don't, in years past, I've always said, yeah, have faith. You're going to get tickets. I don't think that's the case this year. I think that there's a lot of people that want to go that are not going to be able to go. We have three years of pent up, man, I want to go to Burning Man. That's the math doesn't work. I think it was 2011 when we finally sold out. Burning Man changed once we went to that place of scarcity. And it's the reality. And part of that reality is that we have to be open to other ways to find community and express ourselves and come together. And if you are fully committed and passionate about going, then you have to find a way to be mission critical for the event through your volunteerism, through an art project. Um, so, let's grieve the, the fact that not all of us are gonna get to go, and let's celebrate the fact that so many people wanna go. What a cool world we live in that there's so many people that want to go to Burning Man. There's so many people that want to to come together in community and create art and crack open. And let's hold on to the possibility that lots can happen. Tickets will change hands and Who knows?
So I, if you are, if you are grieving right now or you are bumming right now, my heart goes out to you. Uh, and let me remind you that there are, there was a time when going to Burning Man meant going to the Black Rock Desert during a specific week. But that, that time is, that, that era has passed. There are tens of thousands of burners that will never go to the Black Rock Desert. Maybe hundreds of thousands of burners. Soon to be millions of burners. So, do not get too focused on one gathering in the desert. We can, we can build art for regional events. We can build community on a day-by-day -day basis. We can find ways to support one another in our communities. For example, in San Diego, next month in April, going to do a, a 10 principle Burning Man uh, book event. Me and Caveat are doing something on, I think it's April 16th? April, I think that sounds right. Maybe 14th. Look. I know, that, 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 that's, that's a, doesn't, doesn't soothe the stink too much. Um, there is, um, if you go to, I don't have the links on me right now, but if you go to the regionals, uh, Search for regionals on the BurningMan.org site, um, and then that that would be the, the next. All right. So my heart goes out to you. I see you there. Hey, Sherry. Um, hey, Heidi. <laughs> Stefan saying. It. I regret all the times I urge people to go. I, I certainly have some. I don't regret that. I mean, I think that I. Th it's. I think it's great that so many people want to go. I think that the, the the key is that we got to figure out how do we channel that energy and how do we get get ourselves doing that year round. So I encourage you to find ways to. Bring the 10 principles into your life to find community, to build art, to find local people that are building theme camps. And so that uh, next year, 2023 or 22 or 24, that uh, when the time is right, you can be a part of creating the greatest city in the world. Sorry. Uh, good luck, everyone. I love you. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Dust storms happen. Days pass. And if we take a step back, let me let me let me take a step back for a second and say that and share an experience I had on Monday, which is that on on Monday as I was raging about an award show and social media righteousness was flowing through me and I was inflamed with the passion of all that was important according to my news feed. I took a break from that and went to gratitude And got to listen to Alex share his gratitude that his family was able to safely get out of Ukraine and that his brother was still alive. He was grateful that his brother was still alive. So in the grand 
global scheme of things. There's lots to be grateful for. And we will get together. And we will be creative. We will create art. We will build community. We will find a way. I love you. Have a beautiful day. I will see you at home.